Broadcasting live from the east side of sunny Madison, Wisconsin, it's the last show on earth with Nate Chappell. Tonight, we're making it all up as we go because it's episode improv. And now, the man who's a shoe in to win most improv, Nate Chappell. Johnny? <laughs> yes. Yes, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode improv of the show on Earth with the least amount of scripts right now. <laughs> the last show on Earth. Um, uh, that's right, guys, we're doing a completely improvised episode, and this is a little outside of my com comfort zone. Oh, see, my comfort zone, I wouldn't have done that if it was written down. Oh, God, it's, it's going to be fine, guys. Um, so this is the last show on Earth. Uh, yeah, I usually do like to be uh, pretty heavily scripted. I'm realizing now this might be coming as a huge shock to you guys who thought we were winging it this whole time. We weren't winging it. That is what we came up with. Uh, uh, but uh, we've done 113 episodes, so why not uh, throw a little magic in there of not being prepared? Um, I'm used to having a pretty big safety net here. This also might be unnerving to you because I'm actually looking at the camera. Normally we have a computer standing right over there. A computer standing right over there. Yeah, it's just a computer personified. His name is Craig. He's a Capricorn. Um, he enjoys taking long types on the beach. And he likes coding, oddly enough. He codes on himself. Uh, but usually he's right over there and I'm looking at him the whole time because we have a thing going. Uh, but not today. Not today, ladies and gentlemen. Today it's me and you, okay? So I need you here with me. Um, Hey, Jenny. Uh, what's going on? What? Always oh, wanted to do this. Okay, so I give you the power of improv, and this is what you get, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I take this? Yeah. Go ahead. He's got the whole world in his hands, guys, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Well, uh, let's see what's new. Um, I haven't uh, felt you know, uh, older than I did today, I went to the grocery store and I realized um, as I was going to check out that I uh, was carrying <laughs> some spinach, that's normal, some Tux medicated pads, uh, and some heartburn medication, and some plain fizzy water. <laughs> that is the oldest I've ever felt, right there. Oh, and I was walking up to the check out it. I uh, had my hands full because I didn't get a basket because I still haven't learned that. I'm not wise, <laughs> just old. And I dropped something and of course it was the Tux medication pads. <laughs> and the lady comes rushing up to help me. I'm like, no, no, it's fine. I got it. I got it. I did have it. They threw me a ham Larry there. Uh, Viv and I were watching football the other day. Um, have you guys... Have you guys heard of football? Do I need to... <laughs> I was actually kind of hoping I'd have to describe it because that would take up the rest of the monologue. Uh, but you guys get what football is. And you know what a Hail Mary is? Well, Viv thought it would be a good time for a Hail Mary, but instead of Hail Mary, she said Ham Larry. <laughs> Throw a Ham Larry! <laughs> and that is what I'm going to say forever now. The old Ham Larry. Hell of a football player, that Ham Larry. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, we're missing Verge tonight. Um, unfortunately, she is not down with improv. She asked for a script, and I was like, I, I'm sorry, we're doing an episode of improv. And she was like, I'll be shitting in my trailer. Because <laughs> that's what she does. It's, her trailer is just a... It is a normal sized trailer, but it's filled with calendar. <laughs> Pretty disgusting, actually. Um, <clears throat> let's see, what else, what else are we talking about here, guys? Uh, so, improv impro impro improvisation. That went pretty well. What's the... Maybe you should... Maybe Lauren knows this. What's the uh, past tense of improv? It's improv I would think. Yeah, that works. But then is it two Vs? I was, this I is what I was struggling with today. I think it's just the one B. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be improved then? <laughs> See guys, why don't we take two minutes to think about this? Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, hey everybody. Come here. Oh my god, what great timing. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it's Virginia. Virginia, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, she's back to save the day. So, Virge, um, what have you what have you been up to? Okay. Well that's a pretty empty vein. Um Oh, I found out that I uh wear wides for my shoes guys <laughs> yeah I know this is exciting right I'm 40 years old and I finally figured out what sh size my shoe is it hasn't gotten bigger I've just gotten a little smarter I've just gotten increasingly uncomfortable with my footwear situation I bought my first pair of dad shoes which is great they're nice and wide they're two E's that's my shoe size guys that's how easy going I am I am two E's okay um, I like my new shoes, uh, they are definitely dad shoes, very high on function, possibly low on fashion. I don't know. I will say that they have extremely long shoelaces, so the bows are really long, so it's like my ankles are wearing ascots. <laughs> I feel very, very fancy about that. Um, and, uh... I think uh, that's all I've really got. Oh, I know. I, I've got duck feet is the situation here, guys. I've got the feet of a duck and the heart of a lion. So, uh, do you know who else has the heart of a lion? Carl Lewis. And he's going to intro today's daily affirmation. Morning affirmation. Oh, I need a script, guys. I'm security guard Carl Lewis with today's morning affirmation. You know, if you want to succeed, try failing less. Just an idea. Welcome to my Week in Review, I'm Nate Chappell, and this is my week. <clears throat> On Thursday, I shot a music video with Chewbacca. He isn't in the movies lately, and so he's looking for a second career. He was singing a solo in this shot. <laughs> On uh, Friday, <laughs> We got a gift bag on our uh, front porch. Uh, it's a gift from the neighborhood, really. Uh, we got some napkins, banana, ashtray, and a single Newport. That was the fifth day of Christmas, I guess. Oh, God. And on Sunday, Virginia was like, ah, as she approached impending death. That's my week in review, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Nate Chappell saying my week was better than your week. Wolf Out TV. It's not a bison in a grocery store. It's not just a bucket of cold cuts. It's not a bag of boxes of bags. It's not a mouth that opens to reveal a somehow bigger mouth or a tire in a phone booth. It's not a sandwich that reminds you of your vice principal. It's a turtle riding another turtle like a horsey. It's a painting of somebody taking a photograph of a painting. It's a sunset as seen reflected in the glossy pages of a ladies magazine. It's 10 or 11 paper clips banging around inside a pencil sharpener. It's one of those old-timey suitcases filled with tickles. Wolf Out TV will make you laugh. Am I saying that right? I just don't think this wig's gonna... Oh, hey guys. Sometimes on the last show on Earth, not everything goes according to plan. 
Then again, sometimes everything goes exactly according to plan, like this time. The last show on Earth. We've got a plan. <laughs> we do, really. Wolf Out Television presents Eddie. The world's first ever live claymation television show. Watch the magic as it happens, live. Eddie's one cool cat. I've heard he can be a bit catty. But Eddie says he's just misunderstood. One thing's for sure, this kitten likes to scratch. Eddie. Series premieres Saturday, July 19th, 8 p.m. to Tuesday, July 22nd, 4 p.m. Only on Wolf Out Television. The last show on Earth. We set him up just to knock him down. for your big time newspaper. Yeah, so you know, I've just been feeling really uninspired lately at work. And then I was thinking, I live with a ghost. Like, what kind of crazy thing <laughs> would that be? Oh, me, yeah. Tell me about it, that would be a great, well, not a human interest story exactly, a no. former human interest story? Yeah, I mean, we might have to work on branding a little bit, but it could yeah. be a, I think it would be a really fresh piece. Um, all right, well, you know, I'm all about fresh pizzas. Oh, I just found my contact. Uh, oh. Right. Turns out I didn't need it. I've got my glasses on, so. Oh. <laughs> I do that too sometimes. Oh, you didn't need your contacts? Anyways, uh, let's talk about your contacts. You said that you've got some guy that you want to feature in the paper. Yeah, so my roommate, I think he would be a really interesting person for the general public because um, he's a great guy, great personality, okay. um, Sounds we okay. love, we do all the roommate things together, uh, but he's also, he has a ghost. Yeah, sign me up. I want to send that to the presses by, mm, I don't know, 6, 6.30, does that sound good? Alright, I can do that. Alright, sounds good. Do we have a deal? Yes. Oh, yeah. that's great. Um, I, I just need to be done by 6.30. 6.30? Okay, yeah. should we, I don't know, do we take a picture? Do you want to ask me a question or what? Yeah, um, so we'll just start with uh, what's your favorite, what's your, what was your favorite memory from being alive? Well, let's see, my favorite memory from being alive was actually I'm probably dying. <laughs> I mean, it was a hard knocks life, you know what I mean? Oh, I hear ya. Yeah, I was in the tra traveling company of the musical Annie for several years. <laughs> oh. But you, you Daddy Warbucks? No. I was Sandy. I'm a dog. Ruff, ruff. I've been living the dog this whole time? Yeah.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to episode improv of The Last Show on Earth. Tonight, we are very lucky to have a very special guest on. Coming to us all the way from wherever he or she is from, tonight's guest. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, it's an honor. So, uh, why don't you tell me kind of about what your day-to-day -day looks like? All right, well, I live in Brooklyn, so I usually start the day by getting a coffee. A coffee? Get a coffee in Brooklyn, okay. Yeah, and then I uh, usually work at the coffee shop. I write a lot, so I can get most of my work done there. Okay, so if I'm hearing you right here, living a New York City life. Yeah. Um, going to coffee. What kind of coffee do you like? Um, I like it black, medium roast. Medium roast. Excellent, excellent choice. Uh, so you do some writing. What, what kind of stuff do you write? Are you writing screenplays or novels or...? Um, well, I mostly uh, do some freelance, but it's mostly with like magazines and uh, newspapers. Oh, magazines and newspapers. I have this, There's a sitcom that I watched recently that I really liked that is about newspapers. It was called... Johnny, what was that called? We watched it together. Uh, Ghost Writer. You guys should check it out. It's really good. It's on Wolf Out Television. So, have you ever seen that, Ghost Writer? Um, I think I've caught a couple episodes before. Is it, is it weird for you to watch because you're kind of in the industry? Are you in that industry, newspaper? Oh, no. I just, um, no, I just write. I was like, very specific very types spe of pieces. Specific yeah. types of pieces. Do you do pieces that pertain to you? I don't want to, I didn't, I don't want to bring this up if you're uncomfortable with it, but you look like you are some sort of primate. I mean, as we all are. Oh, I, I can see how that could be confusing, but I have to wear this because my job is like kind of undercover. Oh, okay. We're, this is this is an undercover uh, investigator who's dressed up as a monkey right now. She does undercover uh, journalism. She's a whistleblower, kind of. Uh, One squeak for partial correct answer. Partial correct. And so, furthermore, you uh, specific. Okay, so it's investigative journalism into a specific uh, situation, into a specific industry. Is yeah, it? I spend a lot of time at restaurants. At restaurants. Oh, are you? Do you like? Are you investigating food uh, safety, or are you critiquing these? Are you a food critic? A food critic who's dressed up as a monkey, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. That's all the time we have, unfortunately, for our segment. Um, but um, speaking of restaurants, do you know who likes to go to restaurants? It's Nathan Hampers, attorney at lunch. I object, Your Honor. Badgering the waitress. So um, we're going to play a game called Gibberish Murder Mystery, and the way this game is going to work, it's kind of like the game of telephone, where I'm going to have to communicate this message to Nate, who's then have to pass it on to Johnny. Um, so we're going to see like how much we get and how much gets kind of lost, because an added twist is that I need to communicate this usually using only gibberish and um, pantomime, so just a made up language and just like kind of acting things out. Um, so what we're going to do, um, this is a murder, so we're going to get the location of the murder, which is going to be a library in Canada, um, and then we're going to get them to guess the occupation of the murderer, which is going to be a doctor for bees, and then finally uh, the murder weapon is going to be a toaster. So uh, let's see how this goes. Come on in, Nate! Oh, <laughs> Skin, 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 skin,
Skip it up. 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 Skip it Uh, 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 Ouch! Huh? Okay, so uh, what was it? Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> All right. All right, Johnny. What do you think it is? Um. Well, I think we're in a library. Uh, with uh. Hold on, just to say that one first. Okay, library. Almost totally correct. Almost. It I'll was... take it. Should oh. I say it? No, 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 no. no. Okay. Uh, and then it was, so it was a library with uh. What's your occupation? I'm a mosquito doctor? <laughs> half correct! Alright, I'll take half correct. And I killed you with a toaster. Correct! Okay. Okay, Nate. <laughs> so, it's not just a library, I guess. It's a library. Um. Uh. With. I, forget, I kind of forget what it was. Uh, with. Uh, yes and oh mm, uh, maple syrup. Uh, a library with pancakes. A pancake library. Canadian library. Yes. <laughs> um, and then the occupation was. What did he say? Mosquito doctor. Uh, is it a doctor? Yes. It's not a mosquito doctor. Right. <laughs> okay. It's an insect doctor. Be more specific. Fly doctor. Ebola doctor. Very close. Uh, a different kind of insect. Tick doctor. Insect. Uh, I'll give it to you for insect. Okay. Should I tell you the answer? And then the weapon was a toaster. Yes. It was a Laura. Oh. Let's have Laura tell us. It was a doctor for bees. A doctor for bees. So close. Yeah, yeah it was very close. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that has been our show. I want to thank Laura Greger for being here. <laughs> She's from Atlas Improv. Check them out on the east side of Madison. There's shows all the time. Just go check them out or else. Um, I want to thank, as always, a big thanks to the biggest crew of two, Viv Chapel and Johnny Fisher. Yeah. <laughs> Finn Hammond and Tyler Ensard make the music for tonight's show. Uh, look for Tyler on SoundCloud and look for Finn, yes, ending. Or no budding? I don't know. Either way. Um, for more of this show, go to thelastshowonearth.org. We are Wolf Out TV all over this web we call worldwide, so look us up on google.corn. Um, stay tuned after this, we're going to have 
our very first ever last, sh last recap show on Earth. It's going to be amazing. The host is really charming. I think Laura's actually going to be on that. Um, and then uh, also, uh, thanks for watching us tonight, guys. And remember that we're watching you, too. Um, and as Tom Cruise always said in an Interview with a Vampire, so what's it like being a vampire? This is the very first ever Last Show on Earth recap show, or the last recap show on Earth. <laughs> As you guys know, by now, I'm Gary Sinise, and I am a huge fan of this show. The Last Show on Earth is like what I live and die for, or what I will die for if everything goes right. We've got an application in for a grant, but that's a whole other show. We'll go over that tomorrow. Right now, We've got one hell of a guest. So as you guys know, this was an improvised episode, which is why we had an improvised person on us. What they said, and usually Nate writes these magnificent scripts that are just mind-shattering. But this time, no safety nets, you guys, okay? There was no words pre-planned. Everything was off the top of their heads, like so much magic. And I guess what I want to ask you, Laura, is, what was that like? It was so fun! Thanks, Laura. That's all the time we have for today's show. The, the, it's been the last recap show on Earth. I'm Gary Sinise, reminding you to remember to always watch the show because the last show on Earth really is the last show on Earth. I mean, this is right after that, but you know what I mean. Thanks. See you next week. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching us tonight. We made stuff up right in front of your face, and for that, I'll always be thankful. It's the end of another broadcast day here on Wolf Out TV, and at the end of every broadcast day, we say, Good night and good nachos. <laughs>